What is up guys, it is Mixer HD here and welcome back to another video today. I'm going to be doing um, the first video of this. I don't know if I'm going to be making it into a series or not, but we're going to be doing a best class setup of the XR2. Now this gun guys, I feel like is one of the most underrated guns in the whole entire game because it is so good. You guys, if you haven't used it yet because you think the M8 is better, trust me, use this one. Even though it's 3 on burst. It's it's so good and you guys will definitely love it. So today I'm going to be showing you how, what I use on it and some gameplay while I'm talking about it. And yeah, so here let's jump right into it. So we're, as you can see, we're using the XR2. I have a level 12 and we're almost prestige. So watch out for a prestige 4 video coming up soon. Now the camo that I use is the transgression, which is really cool. I feel like if you guys have it, let me know in the comments below. Also, sorry about my voice. Something I don't know what's going on, but like. I don't know, I just, something's going on with my throat, so, sorry about that. I use a red dot sight, a quick draw, grip, and high caliber is what I like to use for attachments. Definitely try them out, because with quick draw, obviously, you're going to be able to aim down sights faster, and that is key with a gun like this, because you want to be able to get down, if you have close quarter map things, you want to be able to get them, because it's a lot harder with three-on burst weapon to get people that are really close, so quick draw really helps. Grip, honestly, it should be on every weapon when it comes to assault rifles and SMGs, anything like that you need grip on really helps out. And then high caliber with a 3-round burst I think is really nice because then I think it's two shots to the head and that's really nice. I also throw in a concussion because if I get into trouble and it's a 3-round burst, I can slow them down so it's a lot easier. Now for the perks, I like flak jacket, fast hands, and tactical mask. I play a lot of Nuketown, and it's these are the um, these are the ones that I really like for Nuketown, and I think it's really nice. So yeah, guys, this is the class itself, and we're going to some gameplay here. Sorry about it lagging a little bit. That I don't something's wrong with my internet today trying to record gameplay. So I don't know what it is, but if we go into gameplay here, you can see that it just look at that. I mean, this gun is just it's so fun to use, and definitely use it around the map combine while we're doing it and it is so much fun i sit up here for a little bit because it's such a good long range gun and you can get a bunch of kills i went 40 i think i went like 40 kills in something today using this gun and it, it's just it's such a fun gun to use thing is not many people use it which is kind of weird to me because if you would use it you would realize how good of a gun it actually is and how much you would really like it because it is so much fun and I, I, I just do I, I seem to do really well with it. I don't know about you guys, but you de definitely check it out if you have not But yeah, as you can see <clears throat> this is what it all looks like in game I like to use the purifier specialist as well. I think that it goes really well with it I think to be honest the purifier goes well with anything just because of how good the purifier is But yeah guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this has been some XR2 a best class setup for the XR2 If you want to see more I've been thinking of doing some for guns that aren't well known and if you want me to do a specific gun let me know and I will do it and if you guys did enjoy the video definitely drop a like because that would be awesome subscribe if you have not comment down below if you want to know more or talk to me because that would be great and I will see you guys hopefully on the next video